Hi everyone, it's Fitz with your daily delivery, and I am delivering good news. I just watched and covered the K-State Texas basketball game, and I'm here with something better, a palate cleanser, if you're a K-State fan. And right now you need your palate cleansed quite a bit. Hey, uh, first reminder, please subscribe to the YouTube channel. Kind of slowed down our growth a little bit. Um, I, it's, it's my fault. I don't know what I'm doing wrong, but let's get back to it and hit those thumbs up and leave those comments and get this thing grown again. And uh, this one should be good. I think you're going to be happy with the fact that Kansas State football has its first commitment for the 2025 recruiting class. First, I want you to pause and think that they are recruiting for 2025. We are a quarter the way in to the 21st century. I don't know what happened. Anyhow, Dylan Duff, a quarterback out of St. Louis, made his commitment picking K-State over some pretty good offers. He had Nebraska and Missouri offers. In the Big 12, he had a UCF offer. He has a long list of offers. But K-State came in and put the press on him, and a new quarterback coach, Matt Wells, really helped close this deal. I watched some video of him, and I got to say this. There's a reason why I typically don't go uh, listen to other people's opinions or, um, you know, go read a bunch of stuff on Twitter when I'm getting ready to make a DD uh, because then I just blatantly steal from people because you kind of get it in your mind. Well, one of my favorite Twitter accounts made the comparison of Duff to um, Jesse Yurt, former K-State quarterback. So I watched the film. Nailed it. Je he looks a lot like Jesse Yurt, you know, Maybe not quite as tall and rangy. I don't know how tall Jesse was, but Jesse was more slender. Uh, Dylan Duff can wing the football. And sometimes I, I see him on highlights throwing the ball aggressively downfield without great like footwork. He just kind of guns it. So there's, there's some arm there. Uh, but that doesn't make a great quarterback at K-State. You got to have other things. You got to be able to run the ball and he can run the ball. Is he Avery Johnson fast? No. I mean, look, there's hardly anyone Avery Johnson fast in college football as a, as a quarterback, uh, but he does, does a, do a nice job of sifting through the defense. He's got enough running speed to, you know, to separate a little bit, but if someone runs him down, he can make a miss. It's, it's a nice pickup for K-State. It's a great way to start this class. Um, and this is going to be a very important class because this is the group two years behind Avery Johnson, uh, that will really pick up the program after this wave of talent moves on. I like this signing or this commitment. And it looks like uh, he's rock solid. He did send out a tweet that says he's 1,000% committed to K-State. That, that sounds good. He's not going to be a math major, but that's fine. If he's a good football player, he sounds like a good citizen. Uh, he's a young man who mention scripture and God in his commitment, I think K-State fans will like him. And rebuilding that quarterback room with a guy like Avery isn't easy. But K-State went and found a pretty darn good one and Dylan Duff out of St. Louis.